Welcome to Gus Tech. This monitor's black, and this monitor's white. But that's not the only difference. So today we're going to look at two different monitors. This is a Dell 1440p 144Hz gaming monitor. It's a TN panel. It's really a pretty overall fantastic monitor, and it's right in the mid-range, so it's not going to really burn your wallet or burn a big hole in your pocket. This monitor is from LG. It's a 4K display, only 60 hertz. However, it is an IPS display, so it's going to have a little bit better color representation. We're going to get into some of the differences between a TN panel and an IPS panel because both these technologies have come a long way in the past couple years. The first thing I want you to focus on as you're looking at these two monitors are the colors. And no matter what screen you're looking at, you're going to be able to notice that the colors on this LG monitor are not only more vibrant, but the blacks are a bit deeper. They're a bit more popping when you actually see color. Everything looks a little bit more washed on the Dell monitor. Now again, this isn't necessarily a, a knock on the Dell monitor. It's a TN panel, and the color calibration is really pretty exceptional on this monitor for being a TN panel but there are limitations as to how the colors can come across. Generally speaking, an IPS panel that comes color calibrated out of the box, like this LG model does, is going to look quite a bit better on single still images. The next thing I want you to focus on, though, is how smooth this video looks. And on this video, it doesn't necessarily not look smooth, it doesn't look stuttery but you can tell that it doesn't have quite the fluidity that you're gonna have on the TN panel. That, again, is a limitation of the refresh rate. This monitor has a 60 hertz refresh rate. This is 144 hertz. It's just going to process more frames when you're looking at this monitor, and it's gonna look smoother. It looks more real life in its fluidity. So when you're playing video games where movement is so important, and really this kind of comes across in competitive games, but I prefer it in pretty much every game I play, I like to have that really fluid motion. I would even sacrifice some of the aesthetics, not only from the color standpoint, but also the graphics, just so I can get a smoother picture. And I know a lot of people that are playing video games prefer the same thing. On the LG monitor though, we do have some very clear advantages. If you're watching anything, TV, video games, you're watching even streams of video games, they're going to look better on this LG monitor. And generally speaking, when you're taking content in, when you're watching something, you're watching media, you're not gonna really care that it has 144 hertz refresh rate because very few things actually display in that, that format. So what's the tangible advantage to each one of these monitors? Well, as I said, the color calibration on the LG, being that it's an IPS, being that it's a 4K monitor, it has some very crisp, sharp details and it's gonna look really good, basically regardless of the image you're looking at, or regardless of the video that you're looking at. The 1440p monitor from Dell, again, it has G-Sync. It has the great refresh rate, 144 hertz. It's gonna look smooth as butter. Even if you're dropping frames on this monitor, it's gonna look better than when you drop frames on this monitor because it has that G-Sync capability. And for being all of what it is, the high resolution, the high refresh rate, it's actually pretty cheap. Again, both these monitors fall right into the $500 price range, which is fantastic because the IPS monitor that I use for gaming was like $900. And honestly, you're getting the best of one world when you're wanting to either create things, make videos, edit photos, or consume content, and you're getting the best world when it comes to fluidity and sharpness and speed from the TN panel, and you can have two monitors for basically what I paid for one. Links to both these monitors are in the description below. But let's talk quality control for a second. On the LG monitor, again, it's an IPS panel. Out of the box, it should look better. But this model specifically comes color calibrated. LG does a fantastic job making it so you can literally take the monitor out of the box, plug it in, and start doing the work that you need to and you should have practically no issues with color representation. Obviously, with the Dell and the TN panel, they're gonna attempt to do the same thing. 
but every TM panel that's out there is going to have a little bit of variance one model to the next. And it's not necessarily a limitation of the manufacturers, but it's a limit limitation of the TM panel itself. You just can't get the kind of accuracy that you can on the IPS panel. So as much as Dell has made a fantastic monitor, you're going to have some washing out. And if you have two of these side by side, you're going to see the slightest differences between them. If you have two of the LG side by side, you won't be able to see a difference because again, that color calibration and that quality control is just going to be a little bit higher because of the manufacturing process that's on IPS panels versus TN panels. So, not only is that an issue and a limitation with this Dell monitor, it's a limitation and an issue with every TN panel. You're just not going to get the kind of consistency that you're going to get when you're only using IPS panels. But that's the sacrifice you make for speed. Gray to gray speeds on most TN panels are under 5 milliseconds which is very much so imperceptible to the human eye. So it's going to give you some more smoothness that you might not be able to consciously understand, but you're going to recognize this is smoother. But again, you are going to be able to notice the difference when you have two of the same monitor side by side, whereas with the LG, it's uniform. Let's talk ergonomics for a second. When you're messing with the stands on both these monitors, they go up and down very easily. You can turn them vertically. Both of them can turn 90 degrees and be vertical. However, when you're looking at a TN panel vertically, you're going to have an issue with the viewing angle. TN panels were made to be viewed straight on and horizontally, not vertically. IPS, however, you can look at it from what they say an angle of 178 degrees, which I mean, you yeah, whatever. If you can actually see the screen, you shouldn't lose any fidelity in the picture. So again, on that standpoint, ergonomics-wise, if you want a vertical monitor, it definitely goes to the LG. Not to mention the fact that you get more screen real estate. And usually if you're going vertical, it's because you want to do something where you can either consume more content reading or you're coding and you need to have more lines of code available, which again, the 4K is going to give you that extra pixel space, the real estate that you need to get that done. The bezels on both these monitors are very thin. They both look good, and again, for the most part, they're going to be pretty durable. The LG does seem to have a bit nicer quality to it overall. Everything is a bit more stiff, it fits and stays a bit better than it does on the, L on the Dell monitor. But again, that's not necessarily a limitation of what the screen looks like. It's more just the design decision, because the Dell monitor also has USB 3.0 pass-throughs. So with that extra benefit, you're sacrificing a little bit on the overall quality of it. But again, if you're not moving your monitors much, I don't think you'll notice a difference. Now let's get to another point here that I wanted to talk about. There is a difference between LCD and LED. And a lot of times we use those interchangeably and they're not the same. So LED stands for light emitting diode. That's what gives light to your monitors, at least in modern monitors and TVs. LCD stands for liquid crystal display. So LCD is what actually is showing you the images you're seeing on the screen. The LED is what's powering the light so that those can be visible to your eyes. Modern LED technology is advancing so rapidly that just a couple years ago, on almost every single LED monitor you could buy, there was a significant amount of backlight bleed, which means either in the middle of the screen or on the sides of the screen, however they decided to use their LED light transferring there, you could see some serious light coming through whenever the screen went black. Both these monitors, being that they're brand new models, have very good control on the LED backlight bleed. It's not completely eliminated and it's unlikely that it ever will be completely eliminated. When you're using LED backlighting, there has to be some level of light bleed even in the darkest scenes available. But it is far better than it's been in the past. And on monitors that used to be really high end, you could see it coming through every time the screen went dark. On these, you actually have to be paying attention to notice it. And I think that's a significant improvement both to TN and to IPS panels because they're using essentially the same LED backlighting techniques. So let's get to the point. 
Both of these monitors are fantastic buys if you're in the $500 monitor market, which I would consider about middle of the road. If you want the best of both, both worlds, there are monitors that you can purchase that are around $900 to $1,000 that have most of the features shared. They have an IPS panel, it is a little bit faster, they do have the faster refresh rates, but they're going to have their own drawbacks, especially being how expensive they are. For the focused use, the LG monitor is far and away the better monitor for professional use. And it's not limited to LG. It is specific, however, to IPS panels running in 4K that have custom color calibration from the manufacturer. And LG has hit on all those points about as well as you can. Plus, from an aesthetic standpoint, if you're going to be a creator, this really does look better than the black and gray Dell. Just, you know, my opinion. If you're using your monitor for playing video games, and generally speaking, don't care as much about the real color representation, you're not getting bad colors on the Dell, and you're not getting a bad image. You are getting a smoother, faster image, and you're having a little bit of drawbacks on the viewing angle. But if this is for playing video games, this is the only monitor I'm looking at anyway. It's right in front of my face, and I think this is a fantastic buy for that purpose. So, should you buy a TN panel if you're a creator? Probably not. It doesn't make as much sense. Should you buy an IPS panel, 4K color calibrated, if you're a gamer? Probably not. It doesn't make as much sense. But again, for the cost of these, you can get both of them for similar models that are running IPS, 1440p, 144 hertz refresh rate, and these are gonna perform better, respectively, than that monitor will. So, if I were you, and I was thinking, hey, Gus Tech, what $500 monitor should I buy? If you're a creator, this guy. If you're a gamer, this guy. And you know what? There's a lot of similar models made by other companies that you can look at as well. A big shout out to Unigen for making a fantastic benchmarking software. What we're currently running on these two monitors is called Valley. It is a little bit dated, but it looks really great. We've run Heaven on a bunch of our benchmarks before on our, on our monitor videos, and we've had questions from people asking what it is. This is free. You can run it on your computer. It gives you a little stress test. And more than anything, it looks nice. So that's why we're using it. So thanks, Unigen. Like the video if you liked it. Make sure to comment if you have any questions, concerns, or if you just want to be heard. And we may even respond to you. Or not. Share the video if you liked it. It really does help our channel. And links in the description to all the products that we use to make this video, including these two individual monitors. We are Gus Tech. We'll see you next time.